and uh, welcome all of you the uh, panel discussions uh, all these members and uh, associates uh, and uh, just i want to see uh, this uh, 25 participants are uh, uh, gathered and 33 all over and now we have to discuss this about the how the artificial intelligence work uh, uh, for this uh, education now uh, from this uh, primitive time to uh, uh, at present the education systems bestowed upon the uh, teaching learning process the best teacher available eight year doorstep that has facilitated by our artificial intelligence technology and education system that is instructional technology learning technology teaching technology all are coming together facilitating our educational system and this is the right time we have to work and work together uh, reach to unreach and our education system how take the advantage of uh, uh, education uh, which is the help of technology from admission to evaluation all uh, has to be in this way that is uh, facilitations of a digital education system and artificial intelligence uh, interventions that uh, helps to the facilitations of the uh, digital education system where uh, the human being failed at that time say uh, all these things uh, uh, cover or facilitate by the uh, intelligence that is a uh, use of technology in our education system now we have to focus on how to digitize then our national education policy 2020 emphasis on separate skill based university institutions they has to come uh, for uh, recover say, up to 2030 50% of uh, higher education literacy in india so it is a good platform and we are able to know the world education system because uh, uh, so many participants are out of india and they have to give their own views of uh, Martin has already given uh, some uh, uh, views about their uh, uh, future prospects of education, what they want to do. And our things say uh, we have to within the framework, within the uh, time schedules, we have to discuss the why, uh, what is the use of the artificial intelligence in how can we assess, how can we take the advantage of artificial intelligence in our education system. And this is the panel discussions. So, uh, I think uh, in 1989, uh, when I started my educational research, uh, at that time, say, I have seen that uh, SR uh, theory uh, involves uh, in the, with the help of a PLM. Now, uh, then the CAI has come, computer assisted instruction, involvement of computer in education. It was a great challenge in India. India. Now, we got a, a lot of facilitations, a lot of uh, uh, supporting environment and uh, supported by the government everywhere so we are able to uh, use that uh, 5g uh, we are able to see each other we are in two-way communications we are able to see at the time in 1991 ugc has started that uh, one-way communication that the talk back education system in government of india started the, through the avrc audio visual research center for a uh, audio visual research center has started all over india but uh, from that uh, time to uh, uh, near about 30 years back that uh, things has happened. Now we are able to, uh, uh, Chandrajan 3, like this technology has uh, in, say, emerging in India and we uh, take the advantage of uh, artificial intelligence interventions in our education system, how far it helps us. Uh, it, this is the critical issues and this is the point of discussions we have to um, think about it and uh, present precisely according to the scheduled times. Thank you all of you and uh, uh, Nasir, Madam, I know you very much because you are <laughs> far back. I, I have the association means from the indoor university I have seen and some of the faces is uh, because education has uh, Tasil, Madam, I have uh, a, not so long back but uh, we have a good uh, association. We think uh, we can fruitfully uh, evaluate and do this all these things uh, in a nice way. Thank you very much. Welcome, uh, participants, all of you. Yes, ma'am. Nasreen, ma'am, you are audible. Okay. Honorable Professor G. Martin, 
ऑनरेबल चेयरपर्सन प्रोफेसर बी सी मल्होत्रा महापात्रा जी एंड प्रोफेसर पी नरसिम्हा एंड आई सॉ प्रोफेसर जसोरा जी एंड माई डियर मैडम डायरेक्टर मैडम हेमलता जी डॉक्टर सीमा त्यागी जी एंड माई अदर फ्रेंड्स दोज हु आर दियर एंड टेकिंग पार्टिसिपेशन इन दिस पैनल डिस्कशन आई पे माई हार्टी रिगार्ड्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड इट इज माई अपॉर्चुन माई प्रिविलेज एंड इट इज माई फॉर्चुनेट एनफ टू हैव दिस पैनल डिस्कशन एंड आई एम वन ऑफ द पैनलिस्ट अमंग यू Uh, the topic on which i am going to present uh, my views is on artificial intelligence its impact on education in upcoming decades so as you know that first we must know that what is artificial intelligence because the conceptual framework help us to know the detail of this particular field what is artificial intelligence that uh, i have presented in ppt also uh, artificial intelligence is the science and engineering of creating machines and systems that can perform task that normally require human intelligence such as reasoning learning decision making perception and creativity so this is the concept of artificial intelligence though the literature of artificial intelligence as per uh, encyclopedia oxford english dictionary and encyclopedia britannica and stanford encyclopedia of philosophy the word is quite different not in uh, a wide range but it is narrow sense that somewhere they have used that when we use the machine as a human being then we can say that the artificial intelligence is working so uh, in totality or as a conclusion of this concept we can say that it is a science or it is a kind of and uh, engineering that create a kind of uh, this uh, machine and perform task like a human being so the uh, there are certain components that is also related to this uh, artificial intelligence that is machine learning neural networks natural language processing computer vision robotics ethics and social implication as far as machine learning is concerned it is a subset of artificial intelligence that involves developing models and uh, from data and improve their performance this allows artificial intelligence system to adopt and make decisions on patterns and examples second is the neural networks the neural networks are the computational models inspired by the structure and functions of human brain and they consist of interconnected artificial neurons that process and transmit information and neural networks are commonly used in various ai application for tasks such as image and speech recognition so neural networks as are like a network that present in our brain these are the artificial neural networks that are associated with each other and helps to proceed the process natural language processing that is nlp nlp is a sub field of ai that focuses on enabling machine to understand interpret and generate human language and nlp helps to facilitate communication and interaction between human and machine another concept is computer vision it is an area of ai that aims to provide machines with the ability to perceive and interpret and performing visual information from image videos or the physical environment it involves tasks such as recognition image video analysis and facial recognition another term is robotics robotics combines ai computer vision and other technologies to create intelligent machines capable of interacting with their environments and performing physical tasks another thing is ethics and social implication it also raises important social and ethical consideration 
issues such as privacy bias accountability and job displacements these are the areas of ongoing discussion and researches related to ai now i come to the ai in education as far as ai in education is concerned it is helpful to improve the teaching learning process and future of ai in in upcoming decades is related to that is the another point but the ai in education as i told you helps in proceeding or uh, making the reinforcement in the teaching learning process apart from this we can improve our teaching methodology and we can improve the other kind of work that a teacher do in the classroom or uh, a kind of uh, this recording of the attendance and um, making other kind of uh, records of the classroom performance records etc so this, this is helpful in making certain or majority of the work of the classroom but the question is that we can't replace a teacher by the this ai the reason is that i will tell you later on first the next one is uh, Uh, AI in education, then future of AI in upcoming decades in relation to education. In uh, artificial intelligence is a potential replacement of teachers and educators. The answer is no. And how AI may change education and support? It is possible only when we are going to utilize this as a personalizing and adopting learning experiences. providing immediate and automated feedback to students and instructors enhancing learning with impressive and interactive technologies such as augmented reality and virtual reality predicting and improving student outcomes and retention managing student learning and administration and apart from these all it is very helpful to improve the teaching methodology now as far as future of ai is concerned in upcoming decades in relation to education ai can enhance personalized learning experiences provide intelligent tutoring system and automate administrative task and the, uh, so many studies have been done on ai the most remarkable is in 2017 by a global institute in germany and the studies shows that the education in education system it is like a boon and it helps a teacher a driving force and the study showcased how these algorithm accurately identified students weaknesses and tailored instructional content accordingly this personalization fosters effective knowledge acquisition and retention among learners as we move forward into the upcoming decades the integration of ai in education is expected to become even more prevalent revolutionized traditional approaches to teaching and enabling personalized education at scale now the question is that is artificial intelligence is a potential replacement of teachers in education the answer is no the reason behind is that what without bias for a long period of time and others however argue that ai lacks empathy and it is vital to have emotional intelligence in order to teach and learn effectively on the plus side the vast era of functional that ai is capable of accomplishing can be utilized over some of the responsibilities that instructor bear several studies done on the subject concern one study i have quoted here done in unesco in 2021 and by german scientists in 2023 they explored the perception of teachers and students on the impact of ai on education the findings suggest that although some believe ai may eventually replace teachers the majority of participants argue that human teachers possess unique qualities such as critical thinking creativity and emotions which make them irreplaceable we can't replace a teacher by this ai the study also underlines the value of social and emotional skills acquired via interaction with others 
which AI system cannot currently reproduce. According to the research, teachers can successfully incorporate and to improve teaching and learning without considering it to be a replacement. To do this, teachers must cultivate AI literacy, comprehend how AI may effectively collaborate with teachers and students while avoiding potential pitfalls and handle relevant problems like data protection, ethics, and privacy. The study shows that despite the growing use of AI in education, pupils still value and respect human teachers. How AI may change education and support um, de-schooling? This is the next point. The, this point shows that inherent curiosity, creativity, and motivation and de-schooling through applies to more than just home schoolers. For the entire education system, it is both a problem and an opportunity, especially in the light of COVID-19 pandemic, which has disrupted regular school operations and forced many instructors and students to adjust to online teaching and learning. Here is where artificial intelligence can be quite useful. The goal of artificial intelligence, a subfield of computer science, is to build machine or system that are capable of reasoning, learning, making decisions, processing natural languages, and often require human intelligence. It can accelerate the long overdue transformation of education system towards inclusive learning that will prepare young people to thrive and shape a better future. AI can help foster the skills students will need to navigate and shape the future. Tools like ChatGPT can help promote students' critical thinking when used in sophisticated ways for deeper, more engaged learning. AI has the potential to support learners' self-confidence also. Impact of AI on ethics and value of Indian education system. In this head, I can say that accessibility and equality of AI educational recourse. One of the biggest worries is the possibility of exacerbated educational disparities. The educational gap could worsen if socio-economic considerations prevent all people from having equal access to AI-powered technologies. It's crucial to make sure everyone has fair access to AI-driven resources. And another is data privacy and security. The use of AI in education necessitates the gathering and analysis of enormous volume of student data. Artificial intelligence algorithm applied in teaching should be transparent and comprehensible to prevent the black box, black box effect. That is where results are challenging to grasp. Students, teachers, and educational stakeholders should be aware of how AI system make decision and suggestion. AI should not be a human alternative workforce. I already told you regarding these long-term impact. Consider the long-term societal impact of AI in an education system. AI could lead to a reduction in critical thinking skills or the neglect of important aspects of education that cannot be automated, such as moral and ethical education. On the whole, as the time is short and uh, I have to finish within five or seven, now I am come to the conclusion. Uh, the conclusion is that the learning approaches could undergo a transformation as a result of the integration of AI into education. Student experiences could be improved by, AI, by AI's capacity to tailor learning, deliver timely feedback, and optimize administrative processes. And to prevent potential biases and data breaches, ethical issues including fairness, openness, and privacy must be addressed. While AI can be efficient, it cannot be take the place of educators in their imaginative and empathic duties. De-schooling made possible by AI strives to foster kids' inherent curiosity. India's great cultural variety makes the integration of AI with ethical ideas essential. A future of education that strikes a balance between technical progress and ethical sensitivity will be shaped as a result of AI responsible integration, which is inspired by inclusion and humanistic ideas. Thank you very much to all of you. Thank you very much. 
then the next uh, panel discussions uh, will be uh, uh, according to our schedule and we have nicely presented uh, um, and uh, touches uh, so many areas so many areas means which is bright area in this ai system of education so we have to proceed on in the next panel discussion himlata madam shall i start with the permission of yeah yeah please please start good evening uh, all of you and i'm very uh, very much honored to uh, share with all of you my views on uh, artificial intelligence i'm thankful to uh, professor hemlata for giving me this opportunity to speak on this whatever i know from the classroom experience not the uh, college experience but in the classrooms in the schools how it can be used and how uh, the teachers can be helped with artificial intelligence and what are the challenges for the teachers this is what i'm going to speak on so the the importance of artificial intelligence uh, in the classrooms okay the thing is nowadays now what happens is uh, the students are very well in the fast uh, growing technology okay now it's very imperative to educate or equip students with the knowledge of artificial intelligence and the skills necessary to thrive in this uh, 21st century teaching artificial intelligence in the schools has emerged as a vital component now uh, the in the classrooms the artificial intelligence helps students in learning the skills ye also goes beyond technical proficiency it also helps not only the students it also helps the educators and uh, they are able to learn to evaluate the ethical implications of ai technologies ensuring response so i am going to talk on classroom and the uh, artificial intelligence in the classroom if artificial intelligence is used it fosters creativity in the classroom uh, ai can be incorporated in the classroom uh, uh, with the following things like students may be interested in exploring ai in school media like social media filters like uh, the instagram the snapchat or the smartphone uh, robots and all that and the navigation system how it can be worked teachers can implement design thinking which cultivates compassion and innovative problem solving students can also analyze past incidents in social science or delve into the concept of science equipping students through a artificial intelligence education helps them a lot in the future to get a job opportunities also uh, it will unleash the uh, imagination of the student and then also the job uh, opportunities ai enabled classrooms have transformed traditional learning by replacing chalk chalkboard curriculum is uh, what is needed now what is the meaning of structured ai curriculum you cannot just teach artificial intelligence curriculum in the class uh just like that it has to be uh, structured a structural curriculum is very very essential uh for the artificial intelligence in the school it should include step by step progression like you know if you see the cbse uh, you know cbsc and icsc have incorporated certain curriculums like uh, if you see the uh, and 843 these are things which help in the uh, students uh, learning of artificial intelligence and then learning and teaching process resources what are the a variety of learning and teaching resources are necessary to enhance uh, to enhance students understanding of the artificial intelligence for instance if you see 
these resources can include a grade wise lesson plans or lesson presentations to teach in the classrooms grade wise a lesson plan uh, also helps so for students these resources can include a textbooks a practical activity books and then tutorials assignments quizzes interactive stimulations and based educational gifts for the how students like um, uh, they give the feedback on writing assignments students progress and uh, also you know recommended educational content and subjects helping teachers get their jobs uh, done Uh, real examples of how AA can help or continue to have an impact in the classroom. Of course, uh, I being a teacher for uh, and a principal for 40 years nearly, so I won't say it will replace the teachers, but it will enhance the working of the teachers. And uh, AA uh, adaptive learning systems can quickly identify when student is in need. So, you know, what happens is uh, as a student shows that they have mastered certain subject, it can also give an advanced level of uh, uh, content so that they can answer. Like if you take, for example, uh, in the exams, okay, the competitive exams, what they do is depending on your answering scale or answering level the level of uh, questions comes whether it is really high level questions or low level questions so like that this can also be in students can be enhanced by freeing up the time for more value for a task like teachers are working uh, so much on daily codes like the attendance, smart sheets, paper, question paper making, grading, and correction of papers and all that. These tasks can be uh, contributed to AI and more efficient and productive learning in environment can be created using AI. AI algorithms can be used to grade assignments and exams more efficiently and accurately. So this saves educators time and ensures that Grading is consistent and unbiased. Also, it gives them the time to improve upon themselves, like for the professional development of the teachers. So the next is A for educators. So A is not only beneficial to the students, but also empowers the educators in the teaching process. K-12, K-12 educators across the globe are pondering how to use AI powered technologies in the classroom and what it might look like. So AI tools assist teachers in creating personalized learning experience, which was explained very well by Nasrima, and identifying individual learning gaps and providing targeted feedback. Feedback for anything is very, very essential. With the help of AI labs and tools, teachers can easily integrate uh, concepts of uh, various subjects, especially science and all that, making learning more interactive, enjoyable, and effective. Because if you are teaching not in a just a lecture method, nowadays students are not very keen on that. AI can provide teachers with access to the world class contents and resources. It also helps teachers in automating day-to-day -day work, such as grading, I told you, data analysis and feedback and shows them, gives them a free time. Teachers require a thorough, but teachers require a thorough training to effectively teach concepts through AA. They need a solid understanding of AA uh, fundamentals, familiarity, and with relevant tools and the ability to guide students in their learning uh, journey. Training can include 
by the way of workshops, online courses, or professional development session. Different professional development sessions can be given to them. Um, some experts believe, some of the experts believe that uh, conversations around integrating AI into education should start with teacher preparation program. At that time, should start and ensure new educators are prepared to teach the AA, the AA tools and teach in the age of AA. The education system needs a revamping. Okay, the uh, like these skills in, in to preserve pre these and current teachers. No, it won't accidentally show up in your PD or professional development. It won't accidentally get taught to pre-service teacher said, Nancy Blair, Blair. So an education, con she's an education consultant and project implementation lead for the ISTE AA exploration programs. And from, oh, sorry, uh, from scanning answer sheets to helping teachers with their daily issue. Schedules and streamline the uh, grain processes. Yay, and help teachers focus. Their teachers will join hands with artificial intelligence to create a perfect learning environment for the young learners. And uh, in some topics, suppose if some topics are rushed or the students uh, cannot understand and their learning is affected, yay, and suggest optimized sequencing of lessons, ensuring that the students learn better. So this is very easily done by, of course, there are a lot of technologies which has to be taught to the teachers. Um, this uh, AI helping the teachers in future has been uh, uh, very well talked by in a stream map. I'm not going to uh, go through that, but it can enhance personalized support for teachers at scale. And then a real-time feedback and suggestion there is one person, Dora, Dora Dimsi, Assistant Professor of Education, Data Sciences, highlighted that the ability for AI to provide real-time feedback and suggestions to teachers, questions to be asked, for example, questions to be asked in the class, creating a bank of live advice based on expert pedagogy and post-teaching feedback. He that AI can produce post-lesson reports that summarizes the classroom dynamics, potential matrices, including student speaking time or identification of the questions that triggered the most uh, uh, engagement. Okay. Research finds that when students talk more, learning is improved. Um, Self-reflecting uh, uh, expertise Saul Khan, founder of online learning environment of Khan Academy, he suggested that AI could help teachers stay up to date with the latest adv uh, advancements in their field. For example, if you say a biology teacher, which would have AI update them on the latest breakthroughs in cancer research or leverages AI to uh, update their curriculum. I'm being a science teacher and teaching uh, uh, the IAS aspects, the how to detect the cancer, what are the ways we can, uh, the A can help uh, to uh, give the treatments, early deductions and all that. A helps a lot. And uh, the changing world for learners, it changes. Okay. Stanford political science professor Rob Reed proposed a compelling question. Is generative AI comparable to the calculator in the classroom? Or will it be more determined tool? Today, the calculator is uh, Webnicus in middle and high schools, enabling students to quickly solve complex computations, graph equations, and uh, solve, uh, solve problem However, it has not resulted in the uh, to removed, uh, removal of basic mathematical computation 
from the curriculum. Students still know how to do long divisions and calculate exponents like without technological assistant. On the other hand, he also said that writing is a very learning. It's a way of learning how to think. So could outsourcing much of the work to AA can harm the students? Critical thinking development. Can it harm the students? Okay. Lyon suggested that students must learn about how the world works from the first principle. This could be basic addition uh, or sentence structures and all that. And uh, by no longer requiring mastery of proficiency, Dimitri argued that AA may actually raise the bar. The models won't be doing the thinking for the students. Rather, students will now have to edit and curate, forcing them to engage deeper than they have previously. In Khan's view, the, uh, this allows learners to become architects who are able to pursue something more creative and ambitious. Uh, and uh, enabling learning fear of judgment. You know, uh, most of the students, if you see, they are fear about the judgment of the peers, what they will say by immigrate and all that or if they are not able to understand the algorithms of the technology and all that. So they lose their self-confidence. So teachers commonly encourage class participation by uh, like, uh, you know, insisting that there is no such thing as a stupid question. All questions are relevant. However, most students fear of judgment from the peers. If I ask this question, will it be taken properly or uh, people will laugh at me and all that? Nobody will laugh and uh, you have to speak to learn much. So this can be identified by the AA using the AA tools and uh, in, uh, improving learning and assessment quality. Uh, Brian Brown, okay, uh, professor of education said that what we know about learning is not reflected in how we teach. So, for example, teachers know that learning happens through proper full classroom discussions. However, only one student speaks at a time. So, A has the potential to support a single teacher who is trying to generate around 35 unique conversations with each student. This can be overcome by the teachers and teachers can answer many of the questions overcoming challenges so i mean there are a lot of uh, though while there are many benefits uh, to incorporating aa into the classrooms there are also several challenges one biggest challenge is the need for technical expertise then another challenge is the cost of aa tools and applications finally there are also ethical concerns associated with incorporating aa as AI becomes more sophisticated, there are concerns about its impact on privacy, security, and the job markets. So teachers must be aware of all these concerns and work to ensure that their students are protected as they explore. And uh, I'm just going to give some few suggestions and finish. Like, uh, um, here are a few things that can be done to overcome the challenges faced while teaching artificial intelligence in the school, like or using artificial in, uh, intelligence. Access provided, provide online platforms, open resources, and affordable free AI tools. Then qualified educators, invest training progress uh, programs and knowledge sharing platforms what we are doing today. It will improve many of us in our learning of artificial intelligence. Curriculum development, develop adaptable curriculum with practical applications and ethical and social implications include models on ethics or modules on ethics, bias, privacy, and uh, societal impacts. So diversity and inclusion, promote recruitment, um, mentorship, scholarship and partnership partner with a reliable a provider and start small faster ethical and critical 
thing in. Um, use real world examples, make it fun, incorporate interactive activities, games, and projects to engage students in artificial learning. You have to be patient to take it. Model output does not reflect true ethical diversity. Um, to conclude, what I will say is incorporating it, artificial intelligence into the classroom presents a unique opportunity for teachers and students alike. AI has the potential to provide students with personalized and engaging learning experiences as well as help them develop important 21st century tasks such as critical thinking, problem solving. However, this integration of technology into the classroom also presents a range of challenge such as data privacy and ethics, the need for ongoing training and support, and the potential for unequal access to uh, technology and digital skills. I'll finish my presentation saying that AA is never a panacea. Thank you so much for giving this opportunity. Respected, respected Professor Dignitaries, Professor Martin, sir, was it, sir? Director Hemlata Taleshwaraji, Mahapadraji, uh, Seema Tyagi, Professor Seema Tyagi, and panelist Nasreen Ma'am, Professor Nasreen Ma'am, and Professor Miraji. And all the participants who are over here, nice to talk to all of you. And I think being the last is the opportunity that I have to do all kind of revision work only. Let us see. Thank you for the opportunity given to talk to you, all the dignitaries and the stalwart. <laughs> How artificial intelligence and automation play a crucial role in education. Let us imagine a future scenario where each and every student has a personal tutor. Do you think it is, is it impossible, no? but where students will be able to experience what they learn through immersive learning at scale sending them on virtual field trips into the core of the earth, inside the human body, you can say inside the heart, inside the arteries, inside the veins, or into the deep space. This is nowadays not a fantasy, but reality. New education technology is creating those possibilities and will dramatically transform how we learn. Generative artificial intelligence will take us to the new frontier of personalized and interactive learning. Imagine a virtual guide facilitator with whom you can have conversation who can offer you career advice or help you to prepare for interview, writing research proposal, whatever you say, etc. And immersive, extend reality and, immer and immersive extended reality experiences will allow learners to practice and apply concept in live learning environment. For example, through virtual reading courses, Medical students will be able to practice their skills while those wishing to master of art, public speaking can do in front of simulated real audience. Like we used to take uh, classes for micro teaching in our beard class in small groups, but that was reality. These are in on the virtual platform. I would like to quote one saying from Albert Einstein, a ship is always safe at the shore, but that's not what it's built for. One should embrace challenges outside of one's comfort zone. Education is about solving problems and innovating. Cultivate a curious mindset and ask questions. Don't be afraid to explore new ideas and challenges. Otherwise, we would have not stand that Chandrayaan, what we are proud of. This is due to artificial intelligence, and today we are there at the south pole of the moon. Okay. Don't be afraid 
and that one has to develop one's technical skills through hands-on experience, projects, and internship. But connect with mentors, educators, and professionals who can guide in one's journey. Don't limit yourself to one area. Explore different branches and discover where your interests and strengths lie. AI wave powers the technical sectors by changing the arc of technological progress affecting all the sections of life. Now, I don't want to go in details that technology has changing nature early 1960 to 1990 computer of the giant size today, the palm size and in 2000 internet and this year AI. The key is to promote greater competition and reduce concentration without destroying big tech as they are helping to breathe life into AI and possibly bringing greater productivity and prosperity. Focusing on innovation. Robotics and AI are two fields of technology that have a significant impact on our society. Robotics is the branch of engineering. It's with design, construction, and operation of the machine that can perform tasks without human interaction, intervention. Whereas AI is the branch of computer science that aims to create system that can mimic the human mind and perform tasks that require intelligence, such as learning, reasoning, and decision making. Robotics and AI can be useful to modern society in many ways. For example, robotics and AI can improve our quality of life in areas such as education, healthcare, entertainment, and domestic work, and etc. So many. For example, humanoid robots can provide personalized learning tutoring to the students. AI-enabled robots can assist doctors and nurses in diagnosis, surgery, and patient care. Robots can entertain with music, games, and art. It can help in domestic work like cleaning, cooking, gardening, etc. Robotics and AI can help us to solve the world's most pressing problem such as climate change, energy security, poverty, like. Robots can monitor and protect the environment by collecting data, detecting pollution, and planting trees. AI-powered robots can generate renewable energy from a sources such as wind, solar, and biomass. Robots can help us to deliver essential goods and services to remote and underserved areas by using drones, self-driving vehicles, and teleprocesses. Robotics and AI can enhance our productivity and creating in various domains such as manufacturing, agriculture, commerce, and research. Example, robots can use automated repetitive and dangerous tasks in factories and uh, mines and by that uh, warehouse and farms. AI-enabled robots can also optimize processes, reduce errors, and increase the quality. Robots can inspire us to innovate new products, designs, and solutions by using machine learning, computer vision, and natural language processes. All these terminologies have been explained in earlier this one. Role of AI in education. It has potential to address any challenges from, say, admission to evaluation or other also. It can provide guidance to policymakers, help teachers by automate administrative work, that is to say workload, timetable, proxy, supervision, exam related, fees collection, you name it, and they are there to help you. 24 by 7 round the clock support to the students can empower students with special need and to reach to their full potential. I think if you are seeing KBC, Last time uh, that uh, Rahul Nam has, uh, has won the 50 lakhs of rupees, uh, though 
he was a special need person. Activity automation, tutorial support, helpful feedback can be given, adaptive software, information and interaction. Yes, it can be helpful in trial and uh, error learning. Targeted improvement. For example, diagnostic tests and remedial measures, what we are doing, it can help in that kind of targeted improvement. Changing learning nature. Changing teacher's role as facilitator, guide, mentor. Data acceleration. Personalized learning. Task automation. Smart content creation. Adaption access. And Closing the skill gaps, database feedback, and 24 by 7 assistance available. These are the very new, I think, not new, but a, a somewhat changed uh, uh, areas where one can focus, one can research, one can have that teaching learning process done on such area. But with that, we should have some checkpoints also to ensure we integrate AI tools into learning system on our terms. Readiness of schools to regulate the use of AI tools in education. Education system must be must set their own rules. Potential to undermine the status of teachers and necessity of the schools. For example, during COVID-19, we all have shifted to online learning. UNESCO will launch Digi Digital Learning Week in Paris on 4 to 7 September 2023 and develop the guidelines regarding this. In conclusion, robotics and AI are the future of mankind because they have the potential to improve our lives in many aspects. However, we are also need to aware that ethical and social implication of these technologies, we need to ensure that they are used for good purpose and that they respect human dignity and rights. Like our PM Sir Modi has told us that Chandrayaan jo maha gaya hai, wo puri manavta ke liye gaya hai. It will not, any, any scientific this one will not harm. Abhi surgery karate hai, to Caesar ka upyog kaise karna hai surgeon ke liye, or this, it is in our hand. We also need to foster a collaborative and harmonious relationship between humans and machines. By doing so, we can create a better world for ourselves and future generation. Thanks a lot. There were some, uh, uh, but I think uh, time will not permit you. So thank you. I'll conclude my sessions over here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Professor Mahapatra. Madam, it is a great pleasure to us. Eh? We have to be integrated and coming together in the same platform, uh, discussing about artificial intelligence and the uh, future of education systems from elementary to higher education. It has already defined by our uh, national education policy. The special skilled based university and digital university is coming with, in collaboration with the different uh, uh, world uh, leading universities all over the world. Now, the focus is that how the education system of India, uh, because we are uh, concerning about education of India, so thou, how we can facilitate our teaching, uh, technology of teaching and the technology of learning within the cave of instructional technology and uh, teaching technology, how it has to be reshape our teaching learning process from elementary to higher, uh, higher education with the interventions of uh, uh, the AI, artificial intelligence. And uh, already, we have already discussed uh, the presenter given the focus uh, uh, how uh, students learn uh, easily with the help of AI and robotics uh, is the separate issues uh, that concerning to the hardware approach and um, uh, engineering section. But our uh, platform is how to facilitate this AI in our teaching learning process. The modern technology has resolved uh, uh, resolving uh, talkings, notes, and uh, making photographs. Uh, modern technology trying to uh, uh, digital books uh, uh, coming, uh, and our uh, uh, education system through government of India, they are facilitating 33 channels they have uh, established for this purpose. 
but it is a somewhere else it is a, uh, with the help of uh, two way communication audio books videos all are available in various websites enable the students and uh, they are trying to find out the lacuna the drawbacks the uh, requirement uh, educational input uh, with uh, respect to that uh, individual differences uh, madam has already uh, discussed about the how the uh, special uh, that, uh, students uh, uh, differently challenge they are uh, getting this uh, their opportunity through the uh, uh, technology and becoming the equivalency establishing equivalency uh, with normal children and the university students uh, how they are uh, sharing their blogs email question personalized approach of uh, education system possible uh, through the uh, digital ai system ai powered various tutorial improvement ai enhance uh, uh, tools provides uh, real time feedback in tracking the process of students that identify areas of strength and weakness every individual has its own potentiality that uh, uh, facilities and uh, identification of their uh, potentiality through the uh, technology uh, artificial intelligence uh, helps the learners uh, to, to uh, develop themselves uh, in different areas and our education system facilitate the uh, uh, learning environment the teachers uh, uh, performance and the students uh, evaluations all things uh, integrated with uh, the fashions uh, from the uh, uh, this is from a admission from the its evaluation uh, become more systematic and more powerful uh, by the interventions of ai artificial intelligence short contract notice uh, in the tools that uh, helps the learners ai assistant the teachers to make effective presentations that is uh, you know, when a teacher thinks the uh, we can say the best teacher best teaching practice available at the doorstep of the learners uh, through the ai ai also benefits instructions creating learning project assessments and goal of our learning system our national goal can be satisfied can be uh, achieved by the interventions by the the inputs by the uh, assessment of the ai in our uh, teaching learning process so creation of effective uh, public policies on ai for educational foundation is a challenge nowadays need and basic technological instructions in developments uh, developed countries this is the challenges and another one is teacher should be improved with the ai uh, uh, learning environment so there is a pre required behavior of in the part of the teacher uh, how they have to uh, make themselves fit in the uh, coming uh, requirements and uh, uh, ai facilitated environment this is the great challenge for all of us and uh, we have to uh, think about the speech recognition technology which facilitated by this uh, ai technology and uh, this is the natural language already uh, told how the language system is better and uh, artificial intelligence uh, recaps our education reset our education system with, with our uh, positive attitude we can adopt and implement in our day to day teaching learning process this is the main problems which we are facing nowadays to have and to, to become and who will do and who will start this is the things uh, as a, a, uh, there is a, some things in the nobody says that my face is black everyone is a moon have a dark side which he or she never shown to other so we are thinking some has somebody has to start but why not we have to start and why not we have to adopt the technology in our uh, classroom system and ai uh, is better and it will facilitate all of us for our future education problem uh, uh, for resolve our all type of understanding Uh, understanding among teachers students and adoption of technology best learning environment by the uh, interactives of uh, uh, artificial intelligence is our uh, in our teaching learning process can reset our future need of education this is the uh, which uh, i think uh, we cover all these things and